just hours after the protests and the Israeli parliament by the family members who had people taken by Hamas, uh, they pro proposed a two-month pause in fighting for the remaining hostages. It looks like protesting does work. Back, we are following two pieces of breaking news in the Middle East. First, an Israeli government official tells NBC News that Israel has proposed a two-month pause in fighting in exchange for all of the remaining hostages being held in Gaza. And at the same time, there are strikes going on right now against Houthi targets in Yemen. Let's go right to NBC News foreign correspondent Matt Bradley, who's in Tel Aviv. Uh, so, Matt, first, tell us what we know about this offer from Israel, and has Hamas responded? Well, we haven't heard a response from Hamas yet. Uh, we understand that this is something that was agreed upon about 10 days ago by Israeli officials. So we haven't heard from Hamas. It's unclear what they're going to say, because remember, these negotiations have been stalled for months because Hamas wanted to see a complete ceasefire if they were going to release the hostages. But this would be significant. This is a major step forward if Hamas approves this and accedes to the negotiations, because this would be the longest stretch of peace the Gaza Strip has seen, relative peace that the Gaza Strip has seen since October 7th. So if this goes forward, it would also be a big boon to Benjamin Netanyahu. Just this morning, we saw families of the hostages flooding into parliament, raiding the Knesset, Israel's parliament, a finance committee meeting, demanding that the government do more to release the hostages. There is massive frustration here. Well, it, I mean, it may slightly boost his approval ratings, but his approval ratings are abysmal. In Israel, that these hundred or so hostages that are still in Gaza have not been released despite months of blistering fighting that has now killed more than 25,000 Palestinians, most of them civilians. So again, this would also kind of restrict Israel's movement here because Israel has said that the part of this deal would involve redeploying Israeli forces outside of the main population centers in the Gaza Strip. Uh, and that would kind of tie their hands when it comes to future operations. But this does come at an ideal moment for Israel in that sense, because they have already agreed to try to scale down their offensive in the Gaza Strip to make more surgical moves uh, against Hamas. But Hamas is still very capable. Uh, according to the Wall Street Journal recently, they've lost about 20% of their fighters, but they are still fighting.